Hello and welcome to my F123 My Team Crew Mode for Lamborghini here today for part 52 for the Monaco Grand Prix. This is the grid. So we've put it on pole alongside George Russell. Then it's Gasly and Lewis Hamilton, Leclerc and Carlos Sainz or Ferrari for up row, Verstappen and Oscar Piastri, Joe and Bottas, Sonoda and Lando Norris, Fittipaldi and Dale Pajer. Stroll and Helga, Albon and Magnussen, Ocon and Lawson, and on the final row of the grid is Logan Sargent and Nick De Vries. So we're here on the grid then, ahead of the Monaco Grand Prix. We've won every race this season. We're looking to make it four in a row. And three in a row here in Monaco as well. You can see our qualifying lap time there. Putting us on pole position. We're doing the one stopper, starting on the sauce, going to the mediums. But it's time then for the Monaco Grand Prix. And we're racing here in Monte Carlo. We've got a good start. So has George Russell, but so has the LP and a big Gasly. Gasly tries to go down the inside of George Russell. He's on the soft, so he should have the extra traction as they're side by side as we go up the hill and round the casino. George tries to give a little shove. Gasly though, still sticking his nose in there. And it looks like Gasly, as we go into Mirabeau, has got his nose ahead. They're not giving up. Side by side, now who's going to give up? Going into the lines, hairpin. Neither of them are. There's contact, wheel to side pod. As George is not giving up. Round the outside, Gasly pushes him. But George gets the traction off of Portier and stays ahead. What a battle. You can go side by side in Monaco if you're brave enough and them two have just proved that. As that allowed us just to pull away and we were managing the pace. You can see there we're three and a half seconds up the road from George now after them two battling. And that's all we've got to do now. Keep it out of the barriers and just manage the pace. As in the further back lap three, this is Yuki Tsunoda's Alfa Romeo engine going bang, the Ferrari engine in the back of that car is gone bang and he is out of the Monaco Grand Prix. Further back now, lap six. This is Esteban Ocon, who Alpine have been very much up and down after really silly having the best car. But Ocon has spun round at the hairpin and now he's blocked the track for Nick De Vries and that has brought out the safety car as Ocon has to practice his three point turn. The safety car is up and wipes out our lead as Ocon turns into the barrier. Drama at the hairpin, car park at the hairpin, but the safety car is out and that wipes out our four second round of four second gap. Wow. No, no contact, I don't think, between the two of them. Ocon just turned into the barrier, so there may be some sort of damage. But lap seven, it was only out one lap was the safety car. A bit unnecessary, really, in the end. But we've got to get the hammer down now. Let's pull away from George. Or at least try. On the soft. George on the medium, so he can go longer. We are going to manage the pace. I think this is the first time we've ever led from the safety car, apart from last season in Brazil, but that was to finish the race. But we are going then. We, okay. we get the race back underway and we're now trying to pull the gap out. Our soft tyres are going to go off before those mediums on George Russell. So if we can get the gap out, it would be beautiful then. As we go through Mirabeau, we have a big tank slapper as we head into Mirabeau. As now we head down into the Lone's hairpin once again. On to lap 8 now of the Grand Prix. As now we carry on going around and George can't really get near us now. As now this is Gasly. He was dropping back from 
George Russell and that's why he's dropping back from George Russell because Gasly once again from a great position is out of the Grand Prix that Renault engine giving up like it did all the way back in round one in Australia when he was in a good position but we're leading the race George is putting pressure on us and we've cracked under the pressure we've gone straight on adds Raskas and now we get away but George has the lead of the Grand Prix we're going to go to the inside we're going to retake the lead George I think has touched the barrier if we go steaming into turn one no heroics at Sandovot we weren't thinking about that as we retake the lead of the Monaco Grand Prix we battled George last season here in Monaco and we're doing it again the end of lap 17 no, we are in to make our one and only stop of the day you can see the tyres were screaming look at the tyre temperatures there as we box now onto the mediums if everything is all right this should be our only stop of the day onto the mediums we go then lap 17 of 39 22 to go and let's just see what we can do have the team found us a nice gap to get out in they have but we need to be out of the Aston Martin and we looks like we just just be out the Aston Martin that was race critical then George now on the mediums dropping back I think he does have damage from from the contact with with us as we sent it into turn one then as we do take the lead George did box and we were just managing the pace now eight nine and a half seconds up the road from Max Verstappen who's found some pace as George has dropped like a stone then in this Grand Prix and we're just managing the pace lap 39 then we round the final corner and we make it three in a row in Monaco done it then they've won here in Monaco with an emphatic performance and a victory they can be proud of for years to come tell me Ant how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today I feel like consistency was probably the key today there's being quick and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap if you can do that you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own and that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field A show-stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure. So that's been your Monaco Grand Prix then. It's now four in a row for us this season. We continue on our unbeaten run. Can we reach Sebastian Vettel's nine? Because Max Verstappen's ten in a row hasn't actually happened in terms of this career mode. So Vettel's nine is the record. There's still a lot long way to go to do that though. But it's now three in a row here in Monaco and it's a double podium for Red Bull as well good result for them as Max is ahead of Bottas and Lewis Hamilton P4 and you can see there was a lot of lap cars in that race and I don't think I lapped that many I think if you're watching the gap around George Russell in that race I think there was some sort of glitch with the safety car that made half the grid a lap down i think in that race two dnfs then gasly and yuki Tsunoda. so in terms of the championship then 
and we continue to stretch our legs we now have a 49 point lead over the red bull of max verstappen piastri p4 he really needs to wake up piastri he hasn't had the best start to the season he's been nowhere near us down at the back though there's still a hell of a lot of drivers still yet to score this season in terms of the constructors then and we lead the constructors now by 59 points over red bull looking like they have maybe finally sorted out this car after the last couple of seasons being absolutely nowhere Mercedes dropping back so they've got to find some form if they want to make it 13 constructors titles and three in a row in this career mode been another horrible weekend for Alpine when they realistically have one of the best cars on the grid this season and they just can't be consistent with it and ultimately that's going to hurt them because it's hurt them again today Ocon spinning at the hairpin whilst already being at the back and then Gasly on for a podium and his engine pops just like it did in Australia when we were battling him in the early couple of laps for the win that day so I hope you enjoyed this Monaco Grand Prix the typical Monaco Grand Prix there was some drama in there the great battle on the opening lap between Gasly and George Russell and then we just cruised on those mediums to get us to the end of the Grand Prix and make it free in a row here in monaco we go to canada next be looking to make it five on the bounce this season i'll see you then goodbye